Okay, we're reading it from Munster, Walter Dean Myers. Another great novel, another great work for the content, but also the structure, written in three different structures and formats. Written and directed by Steve Harmon, featuring Sandra Petricelli as the dedicated prosecutor, Kathy O'Brien as the defense attorney with doubts, James King as the thug, Richard Bobo Evans as the rat, Osvaldo Cruz, member of the Diablos, as the tough guy wannabe, Laurel Henry as the witness, Jose Delgado, he found the body. It stars 16-year-old Steve Harmon as the boy on trial for murder. Filmed at the, at the Manhattan Detention Center. Set design, handcuffs, and prison outfits by the state of New York. Uh, VO. Yo. Harmon, you gonna eat something? Come on and get your breakfast, man. I'll take your eggs if you don't want if you don't want them. You want them? Steve subdued. I'm not hungry. Sunset. His trial starts today. He up for the big one. I know how that feels. Cut to interior corrections department van. Through the bars of the rear of the van, we see people going about the business of their lives in downtown New York. There are men collecting garbage, a female traffic officer motioning for a taxi to make a turn, uh, students on the way to school. Few people notice the van as it makes its way from the detention center to the courthouse. The slave, the slave uh, uh, vehicle is what I call it. Cut to prisoners handcuffed coming from back of van. Steve is carrying a notebook. He is dressed in a suit and tie. We saw on the cot. He is seen only briefly as he is herded, herded through the heavy doors of the courthouse. Fade out. As last prisoner from the van enters rear of the courthouse. Fade in, interior courthouse. We are in a small room used for prisoner lawyer interviews. A guard sits at a desk behind Steve. Kathy O'Brien, Steve's lawyer, is petite, red-haired, and freckled. She is all business as she talks to Steve. O'Brien, let, let me make sure you understand what's going on. Both you and this King character are on trial for felony murder. Felony murder is as serious as it gets. Sandra Petricelli is the prosecutor, and she's good. They're pushing for the death penalty, which is really bad. The jury might think they're going to they're doing a big favor by giving you a life in prison. So you better take this trial very, very seriously. When you're in court, you sit there and you pay attention. You let the jury know that you think the case is as serious as they do. You don't turn and wave to any one of your friends. It's all right to acknowledge your mother. I have to go and talk to the judge. The trial will begin in a few minutes. Is there anything you want to ask me before it starts? Steve, you think we're going to win? O'Brien, seriously. It probably depends on what you mean by win. <laughs> Test the fate of black men. Cut to interior holding room. We see Steve sitting at one end of the bench against the opposite wall, dressed in a sloppy looking suit. Is a 23 year old James King, the other man on trial. King looks older than 23. He looks over at Steve with a hard look, and we see Steve look away. Two guards sit at the table away from the prisoners who are handcuffed. The camera finds the guards in a medium shot, MS. Uh, they have their breakfast in aluminum takeout trays that contain eggs, sausages, and potatoes. A black female stenographer pours coffee for herself and the guards. Stenographer, I hope this case lasts two weeks. I can sure use the money. <laughs> God won. Six days, maybe seven. It's a motion case. They go through the motions, then they lock them up. Turns and looks off camera towards Steve. Ain't that right, bright eyes? Cut to Steve, who is seated on a low bench. He's handcuffed to a U-boat, put in the bench for that purpose. Steve looks away from the guard. Cut to door. It opens and court clerk looks in. Court clerk, two minutes. 
cut to guards who hurriedly finish breakfast. Stenographer takes machine into courtroom. They unshackle Steve and take him toward the door. Cut to Steve is made to sit down at a table and another table we see King and two attorneys. Steve sits alone. A guard stands behind him. There are one or two spectators in the courtroom. Then four more enter. Close up, see you of Steve Harmon. The fear is evident on his face. MS, people are getting ready for the trial to begin. Kathy O'Brien sits next to Steve. O'Brien, how are you doing? Steve, I'm scared. O'Brien, good, you should be. Anyway, just remember what we've talked about or what we've been talking about. The judge is going to rule on a motion that's King's, that King's lawyer made to suppress Cruz's testimony and a few other things. Steve, let me tell you what my job is here. My job is to make sure the law works for you as well as against you and to make you a human being in the eyes of the jury. Your job is to help me. Any questions you have, write them down and I'll try to answer them. What are you doing there? Um, Steve, I'm writing the whole thing down as a movie. O'Brien, whatever. Make sure you pay attention, close attention. VO, court guard, all rise. The judge enters and sits behind the bench. He is tall and thin. He pushes his fingers through wisps of white hair and looks over the courtroom. Before sitting, he is 60 year old. He's a 60 year old New York judge and already looks bored with the case. The court guard signals for people to sit. I've read over way too much, but see, you get involved in this. I tried to do for five minutes. Um, that's what it's like. I have been fortunate enough to never be in the court um, as a criminal. I was in the court as a witness, or actually as a victim, I should say. Not a witness, as a victim of a crime. So, um, it's rough. And even as a victim, you feel bad because you know you, you're sending another black man through the grinder. And, um, but what are you going to do? Until next time, I want you to take care of yourself, um, take care of your mind, take care of your body, and be safe.